great American novel, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, author Mark Twain uses the Mississippi River as a symbolic reference to freedom. Young Huck and Jim are most happy when floating down the river. But for generations of outdoorsmen and women who have spent their entire life along its banks, the Mississippi River is a source of life. As a kid, I remember making my first shrimp box at the age of 12. I caught more in that one shrimp box every day than I kept in all six or eight that I have now. It was loaded with shrimp. There was 90% more shrimp then than now. Through the years, dams was built up there which stopped some of the migrations and a little pollution, a lot of boats in the river that stirs up mud every time they pass and all that co contributes to having less shrimp. I was brought up and raised here. I caught shrimp in the river. I made money with that. I caught alligators. I caught frogs. I caught snakes. I caught crawfish. But our big family, all our kids, we ate off the land. There was no money here. There was field work, Sugar House, Avondale. That was it. Everybody depended on these shrimps for a living, to eat. Take your time. Take your time. We are about 20 feet from the river itself, from the main stream. And the, your, your shrimp are moving from the levee out there, which is about 400 yards, they're all going to be concentrated on the river as the river go down. So that's why this one did excellent. And we have more that's probably going to be do the same thing as this one. I'm the only one between here in New Orleans that's fishing on the river on this side. I have a good neighbor next door. He's a bigger fisherman. He catches more than me because he has more boxes. Further down in Donaldsonville, there's one more man. Every year, it looked like we got less and less shrimp in the river. This year we had an extra amount of water that came down, so it looked like it's going to be a good year. Uh, get touch. So. I can tell you one thing that I know. There's a time in the season, in the spring, that there's millions of one inch long shrimp in that river. Your box is a solid full with the babies. The, how they travel here and when they start, I really think they start coming down here in the winter time to get down here from way up north. That I can tell you. I would say two years, maybe three. You got these big shrimps. We caught some shrimp last week almost twice as big as these. You wouldn't believe the size, it was almost as big as a crawfish. More or less have a texture and a taste of a crawfish. With the shrimp, with the water, the, the, the taste of the river water, which have its own taste, mixed with the crustacean of whatever it is, and, and it's a better taste. And uh, I have never caught a saltwater fish, a brown or a white shrimp in this river.
Throughout the years, the way of life to truly live off the land is becoming much more rare. Old traditions die hard. Uh, it's going to go away with, my, with me. Very few people are doing it. Uh, I figure in the next five or ten years, it's going to be over. And these shrimp, they must add billions of pounds of shrimp that came down with this water this year. Five people that I know maybe is catching them. Two across the river and three here. One in Donaldsonville, one here, and one with my neighbor. So I, I think it's going to go. It's, it's going to be done.